Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sonic Mania. Wow, that is loud. Was it really this loud yesterday? Turn that down a bit. This still feels very loud. Dear God, I mean, this feels very loud. Then again, it needs to be, uh... It probably needs to be very loud so that way it's actually heard on YouTube. Once again, don't have a capture card or an editing software. Even though you can, in fact, edit videos on your phone and there are various uh, editors you can find very easily just by scrolling through the app store. Yeah, despite all of that, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, st I'm still not editing any of this. Honestly, at this point in my life, this is just the way I record YouTube videos now. This is, this is just me. I thought about going back to some stuff on my phone just because, um, I do want to revisit Doom and maybe finish it, but I figured, okay, well, I can just get a, you know, Doom on Switch or wait till I have a PS5 to play Doom on the channel and you know, have it be actual quality. Uh, do I want to, you know, let's not. For this video, let's focus on just playing the damn game. That's something. Tails, shut up. Thank you, Tails. I wish nothing but pain for you. Hey, ooh, the green one. Shit. Oh well. Tails, I would say I am trusting you to get the big ring for me, but you are useless. I wish I could be joking. So anyways, how is everyone's, uh, Thursday going? At least, to me, it's currently a Thursday, I don't know. Shit. I don't know what it's like for everyone else. But for me, it is Thursday, my dudes. If it's not Thursday for you, well, I probably sound like an idiot. And again, I must ask, what else is new? So, question that I've had and, and I've only like just now thought about, what if you Ow, fuck my teeth. I, I bit my teeth. Comment down below if you've ever bit your teeth. Ow, fuck, that hurt. Ah, yeah, that fucking hurt. But, um... Yeah, uh... What is the most... Useful and useless ability in the entire classic series. Like, I'm talking from 91 up until 98. Like, once you get to 97, that's kind of like the cutoff for the classic series. What is the most useless ability and what's the most helpful ability? And again, I, I include Sonic Mania in that, because it is a classic game. Uh, well, actually, I guess I can... So, to me, the most useless classic ability is... Beyond a Shadow of a Doubt. In my opinion... Probably the Super Peel Out. It visually looks awesome. But in terms of practicality, it's rather useless, really. Um, another one, I guess. Now, the most useful ability from the classic series is it's most definitely the insta shooting, despite it, you know, not really being need all that often. It really is 
two, three, and four in it. And yes, I did just turn super for this boss fight where you don't even need Super Sonic, how they because uh the bombs can still hurt you. Plus I just wanna say fuck you, Eggman. Oh shit, right, that messes up the thing. I wonder if you can actually break the the Eggmobile. I wonder. I really do wonder. But of course, um, back to the subject on hand. I guess once we include Sonic Mania into the list, I guess. I don't know what's more important, the Insta Shield or Drop Dash. They're both very useful and very important, in my opinion. Because, like, with the drop dash, you're able to much easier, like, carry speed around in, like, the last three levels. But the insta-shield, despite not really having that many actual uses throughout the game, just like the drop dash, it's a surprisingly useful ability that USB player find uses for. Like, for example, in Sonic 3, I, uh... Like, what, I don't know if it's just, like, my imagination or something, but I... S Tails? I was about to say Tails. Like, in Sonic 3, for example, whenever you use the... Instant Shield, you kind of get, like, a little bit of hang time in the air. And so, like, that's one reason why I find the Instant Shield really useful, because, uh... Whenever I need to make a long jump, I... You know, I'll get a bit of build-up, and I'll kind of... Insta shield if I don't think I'm gonna make it. What's down here? Oh, there's a spring, I guess. But uh yeah, I'd probably find the I'll probably find the insta shield more useful because in general, even in Sonic Mania, I feel like there are more moments when the Insta Shield is usable compared to the Dock Dash. But still, even then, it's, the Drop Dash is kind of like one of those things I wish would become like a staple of Sonic games for the next good few years. Because, I don't know, it's, it's just such a fun ability to use. Shit. But I guess in terms of, like, other abilities that are also, like, super useful, I guess the, uh... Hang on, the Spin Dash is... I mean, realistically, the Spin Dash is the most useful thing out of any Sonic game. Just we never really count it as an ability, as it's just kind of vague. I mean... I feel like we kind of take the spinach for granted. And I'm one of those people that, honestly, I don't care if it's actually... Like, it actually serves a purpose in a, in a Sonic game or not. I want the option to use the fucking spinach. Like, that's one thing that I hope is in Sonic Frontiers, just for no reason other than if you want it, it's there. I want to be able to fucking spin dash in Sonic Frontiers. As useless as it is when you can just boost, I still fucking love the spin dash. I feel like it's one of those things that even if it doesn't serve a purpose, it should still be in a Sonic game. Anyways, now that I've lost my shield, I think here soon, but uh... 
get a super, it's just because it's like they're coming up on the boss here and then, then I don't want to lose my rings. Plus I have like an automated amount of fucks I have to give and or oh shit, I actually need that double shield because Super Sonic can't breathe. Which I honestly still to this day think is bullshit. I ah shit, fuck's sake! I forgot Super Sonic and Mania doesn't use shield abilities. Fuck. So in Sonic Three, and you d well you can't like double jump or anything. You can still use the bubble shield as Super Sonic and Sonic 3, and so my brain just like, I, s I saw myself like charge up the drop dash, and I was like, it'll be fine, I'm gonna go super, alright, I'm super, um, I'm I got a bubble shield, I'll bounce, and for like a solid, however long that was, my brain just shut off all logic. I never once considered the fact, hey, this isn't Sonic 3, it's... And... looky here. Please tell me I can get rings from Blue Spears. And even then, it's been a while since we have got any Blue Spears in general, so why not? Plus, if every ring I do collect counts to me in the main game, I will be so happy. And if it isn't, I have to ask, what were the developers thinking? Zero out of ten games. Literally unplayable. This is really tripping me out, because, like, as I'm, like, playing, I just, like, see my camera just, like, constantly, like, rotating. I see the image like delayed rotate on my camera, it's like fucking with my peripheral vision. Get there more rings somewhere. Where are they? Okay, three more. Wait a minute, I know exactly where to get them. Come on. Oh shit, balls. Oh, that was nerve-wracking. Oh, my palms are so sweaty now. Shit, you in fact do not gain any rank shit tails. You could have helped me out there, buddy. Well, shit. At least we got a bubble shield, I guess. Oh, well, I guess you're all probably very tired of constantly seeing supersonic gameplay. At least I imagine you are, because... You know, it kind of ups, under, interrupts the music and actually playing the game. There you go, fuck you guys, man.
shit! I was trying to move, but it wouldn't let me because I was like caught up on it something. Right now, I actually have to worry about air. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, shit. There we go. Yeah, fuck you, that kid. Come on, Tails, get him, Tails! Shit. Come on. Shit! Let me go, bitch, let me go, bitch, let me go, bitch! Come on, drop me! That's what I thought. Man, bitch. Oh, shit. You could help me, you know. There we go. Tails, you did absolutely nothing during that fight. But you're fucking adorable. And I can't wait to play as you for this playthrough. Oh, that took me six. Oh, oh, something. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. That took me sixteen minutes to beat. Bye, knuckles. Oh, you fucking pansy ass, fucking ass, motherfucking magician, sucking ass bitch. I just love Tails' little hat. I just want to say that real quick. I just love this fucking hat. Oh, shit. Also, uh, question again for all of you in the audience. What was the first Sonic game you ever played? Uh, for me, the first Sonic game I ever played was Sonic Classic Collection on the DS. And I fucking love that collection, but funny story behind it, and I'm pretty sure I've told this like a million times before, but... Shit. Um, when I was a kid, I didn't know that for old school games, you had to push start to start them. And so whenever I would play... And so whenever I would want to play Sonic 1, 2, or 3, it would literally just be me sitting there staring at the little demos, just thinking that was the entire game, that's all that they had to offer. One rings! I don't really need rings here. But also, I really like Sky Chase levels. You can't tell me otherwise, Sky Chase levels are fucking awesome. But, um... Yeah, also, uh... Shit! What else am I gonna... I forget. Oh, I really did forget what I was going to say here. But, um, yeah, I would always, like, sit there and just, like, watch the demos go by, thinking that was all of the games had to it. But then, eventually, I was just, like, mashing buttons, like, I want to play this game. I want to run the Green Hills on myself. And then... I randomly just hit the start button, and then from there, I basically sent out the road I am on currently to be a Sonic fan. And, um, I played a lot of Sonic 1 and 2, um, I, I wasn't very good at the game, so I would always die 
like at most I would get to like Marvel Zone at two or at three, and I, and I would either quit the game because I would like okay I want to keep playing Green Hill Zone. I had so much fun playing Green Hill Zone that I like I would move on to play like Sonic Two, and I always fucking hated Chemical Plant Zone. I never beat Chemical Plant as a kid. As a kid, like I liked every zone I played. Sonic 3, I hated Hydro City Zone. I did not like it whatsoever. And I very, very rarely made it past Mushroom Hill and Sonic and Knuckles. But despite all that, I would go on to love the Sonic series. And, uh... Yeah, I would go on to play them for many, many more years. The, I developed them, the first game I ever beat was Sonic 1. And it was 100%. Yes, the first Sonic game I ever beat was Sonic 1 with all six Chaos Emeralds. I remember I was, I was watching, I just started watching YouTube by the time I was seeing people play like Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Unleashed and I saw... And I learned about Super Sonic through watching those YouTube videos. I was like, oh, I want to play Super Sonic, just gotta get all the chaos on them, okay. And so, I sat down and I, one day, played through the end. Entirety of Sonic 1 getting all the chaos on Just, and I was just. Oh, so, fun fact, I swear to God, there was a Summit special stage. Because I remember very vividly, in Labyrinth Act 1, I got 50 rings, I saw a big ring, but no matter how many times I replayed the level and tried to, I just couldn't get the, uh, I just couldn't reach the bigger end because it was too high up. I don't know if that was a glitch or if that was my imagination or something. But I skipped it and moved on to Act 2, and despite having 50 rings, there was no bigger end. And I was so confused at the time. And then I later find out, oh, turns out there are only 6 Chaos Emblems in Sonic 1. There aren't seven, so, but I've always wondered, was I seeing things that were a glitch in the game? What was it that caused me to see a whole extra ass big one that wasn't even there? Well, anyways, I would, um, yeah, from there I would go on to play just a whole bunch of fucking Sonic games on my 3DS and never really found many for the DS, only ever found some for the for the 3DS. But regardless, I was happy in my life because I was playing from the Sonic games and I loved playing Sonic games as a kid, and I still do now. Which is why the majority of videos on my channel are Sonic well, maybe not the majority maybe maybe the are the majority of my videos on the videos? I don't know. Anyways, continue this uh, conversation next uh, next time. Yeah, fuck you.